What's up, folks? Welcome back to the vault. We got Comic Con coming up this weekend, and BV's recent announcement with Marvel has us thinking about what are comic books going to look like when they hit BV as NFTs. In BV's recent announcement of their partnership with Marvel, they noted that digital collectibles NFTs will include 3D digital statues in a variety of styles from static to animated, which we're used to, although we haven't seen a lot of the animated ones besides Ritmo. But more importantly, it also says, as well as digital comic NFTs from the extensive Marvel Comics range. So this is some pretty exciting news, and if you know anything about physical collectibles, it pretty much comes down to art, baseball cards, and comic books. Comic books are really big, bigger than physical statues even, so whenever they hit NFT form, they're going to be pretty valuable. So it's important to start thinking about which ones are going to be the most valuable, and also to start imagining what they might look like when they hit VV as NFTs in the future. When it comes to the possible value of some of these comic book collectibles in the future, there's going to be a lot of factors to take into account, including edition size and the comic book that's being released itself. But you can probably count on the first comic books that VV decides to drop on their app as being some of the most valuable in the future because they're the first to come out. Now when we're thinking about which ones we want to go after and invest in in the future, it's important to look at the physical world and the comic books that are worth the most in the physical world. I personally didn't read a lot of comic books growing up. I watched a lot of the movies, but I didn't collect the comic books themselves. But with this large and great DV community, you can expect that there's always going to be an expert around the corner of whatever topic you're looking into who can give you some information. So I hit up my buddy Dozer on Twitter. He has a YouTube channel known as The Comic Way, which is what I turn to a lot of times when I'm looking for information about comics and comic characters that are going to end up as NFTs on Vivi. And I asked him to let me and my subscribers know what are the most valuable comic books in the physical world of collecting so that we can use that to determine what some of the most valuable comic book NFTs will be when they get to Vivi. So here's what he had to say about that. This is Dozer, your favorite comic book guru. Check this out. It's Comic-Con week. I'll be showing you guys the top three most valuable comics of all time. And this is number three. Hold it right there, Buster. The Joker. <laughs> That's what I call a real gasser. Lo and behold, you're number three. Batman number one. The first ever Batman issue. This right here is the third most valuable comic in the world. Do you know why? It's the first ever appearance of Catwoman and the Clown Prince himself, Joker. This is the first Batman issue graded at 9.4 CGC. This is the highest graded known copy so far. The fact that it's the highest grade copy makes it demand an insane amount of money. Last one sold for 2.2 million bucks. If we had a sale recently, it would probably demand even more than that. Here's the thing. If we ever, ever see a copy of this graded in 9.8 or 9.6, you're talking about a 4, 6, maybe even $10 million comic book. For all we know, somebody could have one in storage right now as we speak in perfect, pristine 9.8 condition, which would just be insane. The amount of value. It would. Most of these... Most of these are anywhere from 3.0 condition, 5.0 condition, 7.0 condition. This comic right here is, is, is almost unheard of in 9.4 condition. So that alone has made it one of the most highest record-setting comic book sales. The fact that it's the Joker's first comic appearance is always going to make this comic book legendary. He is one of the most iconic villains in comic book history. And I mean, good luck finding a villain that has more popularity than the mad clown prince of Gotham. And here's that record setting sale I was talking about. This is directly from CGC's website right there. I mean, the clown prince would be pretty proud of this comic as he'd be sitting on a mountain of cash. I mean, 2.2 million is a lot of money. Just imagine the type of money the digital NFT version of this will demand someday on VV platform. And now, number two, second most valuable comic book.
Behold the first comic book appearance of Batman. This is it. This is the very legendary first comic book appearance of the Dark Knight himself. Detective Comics number 27. One of the most recognizable comic covers in history. So check this out. It could be number one, but it's going to sit at number two because the highest graded copy of this comic is a CGC 9.2 and nobody knows where it is. If that comic ever comes out into the light of day, it could demand anywhere from four to six to 10 million bucks. And that's not an overstatement because right here, the record sale is a 1.5 million bucks for a graded one that wasn't even that good. It's a 7.0 CGC. So if that's what that one demanded, just imagine what a 9.2 CGC would demand for this comic, which is by most people considered the most important comic book of all time. And here we go, the king of the hill and the one that reigns supreme, your number one. Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. Look, up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. <laughs> this amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Empowered with X-ray vision, possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice, disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. So most expensive comic of all time, first appearance of the man himself, Superman, the Man of Steel. This right here is a beautiful copy, the highest known graded copy of Action Comics number one, graded at 9.0 CGC. This one sold for over 3 million bucks, but that was a sale in the past. If this comic got sold right now, it is not out of reach that it could hit 4 million bucks on a sale. I mean, that's insane. This cover here, this is basically what started it all. Action Comics number one started this whole comic culture we have. And right here, this same copy I'm talking about, believe it or not, this is the one that was actually bought and owned by Nicolas Cage at one point. You know, he saw this and was like, what, what a beautiful comic. Oh, I want that as part of my collection. You know, it's going to be worth millions. This thing is going to keep flying. It's going to keep crushing it. The last record, 8.5 CGC, sold for $3.25 So like I said, the other one was a 9.0, but it sold before that one. It would sell for even higher. This comic is it. This is what gave us Comic-Con. So I am pumped. I know you guys are pumped. I cannot wait for Comic-Con. Don't forget to subscribe. This is the way. Those are out. So now that we have a good idea of what kind of comic books we're going to be investing in on VV, it's fun to think ahead about what the comic books as NFTs on VV might look like. And a good example is the Bloodlines comic book from Terra Virtua that I've mentioned on my channel a couple of times. I've purchased three of these NFTs. They're all the same comic book but with different animated covers. And once you own them and click into them and you can read the comic book, which I've shown before and it's pretty cool to look at, but there's also some cool abilities that you can do with these comics that you might be able to do with some of the Marvel comics in the future. The first thing that you're able to do is to remove all of the text and just look at the pictures, the whole comic book that way, which is kind of nice. Also, there's an option on Terra Virtua's graphic novel reader where you can click the pencil button and take away all of the animation and just take it down to the original pencil etchings of the comic book, which is really cool to look at. And you can go through and look at each page as it was originally designed, I guess, before it was colored and text was added to it. So that's something that you may be able to do to Marvel NFT comic books on the VV platform in the future. So let's take it a little further and imagine what it would be like to read our Marvel comic book NFT in the VVverse and virtual reality in an immersive environment. This is a free app on Oculus Quest that you can download called Sphere And like Crypto Crowns always says in his videos, if the technology already exists, it's not hard for VV to acquire it and implement it. It's just that certain platforms focus on certain things first and they've gone for the licenses and have done a great job of securing really great licenses and bringing a lot of different types of collectors into the platform. And so now that this technology exists, it's not going to be hard for them to implement their NFTs like their comic books in the future into stuff like Sphere here. So let's take a look at what it would be like to read a comic book in virtual reality. Alright guys, so I recorded this this morning. You can see me up there in the top left hand corner and I selected a VR comic called Supernatural Girl by Harang. 
and of course you have to download it first whenever you get in there and as I was downloading I looked around at the environment a little bit just to show you where it looks like you're sitting on the beach and stuff it's pretty cool and this video is about eight minutes long the comic book so this is the end of my video if you don't want to listen to the whole comic book after you look at it check it out a little bit feel free to exit out or whatever and I'll go ahead and read the whole comic book for anybody who wants to hear the story all right, so this is a boy and he says here, I played the game till dawn yesterday and oh, this class is so boring. And I'm sitting here and I can look around the classroom and it's like I'm sitting there in the immersive environment. He's getting sleepy, he says my eyes are falling shut. Uh, no, I can't make it. Oh, I can make it. He's trying to stay awake in class, but he played video games all night, all night last night and I, he's out, he fell asleep. And then he wakes up and he sees this girl and she's like, hmm? You surprised me. How can you move? Hmm? What are you talking about? It was strangely quiet. Maybe it doesn't work on someone who is asleep? Everyone looked perfectly still as I looked around as if the time was stopped. He looked around and the time has stopped everywhere. You can imagine what reading a Marvel comic like this would be. With a very confused look, she headed to her seat. Time's up now. And then the time started running again. Now I have a controller in my hand. Every time I click the button, it moves to the next scene or the next paragraph sentence. So she and I shared a secret together. And that's the title, Supernatural Girl. It's pretty cool here. I could look around the room still and see the room through the words. Day two, can you really stop the time? Hmm, how do I explain this? More like within a radius of a hundred meters. Then those who are near the radius must know that, that people are stopped, right? She says, no, they don't. From a hundred meters on out, the time suddenly becomes faster and it runs on a normal speed from 200 meters out. It's really technical. How did you find out? I tested it at a large park. Day five. Wake up. She always popped up on my face and I was like, whoa, it looks like she's right there. Since then she stopped the time and woke me up every time I fell asleep. And they started partying around the class while everybody else is sitting there. Day seven, he's standing on the table, having a good old time. It was a pretty interesting comic book. It was an amazing experience to hang out in a world where everything stopped. Day 15. Can you stop the time forever or as much as you want? No, I can only stop the time for about three minutes. I feel it when it's coming. What about the surveillance cameras? They'll just think it's broken. Day 30. In order to sleep during class, I stayed up late and played video games every night. Smart man. Day 34. Do you have other supernatural powers? I'm working on Fireball. That's fantastic. Day 42. Looking around the room. Went all the way back on that one. I could see the people behind him. Look, he looked like he was punching the teacher. I want to try somewhere else besides the classroom. Can you sleep outside? How about a bench at a park or somewhere? Are you homeless? Oh, wait, I didn't quite get that one. Day 72. Can you use Fireball now? Hi! You really believe that? Troll. What? Did you lie to me? Duh, this isn't a video game. I was really expecting that. You disappointed me. I can still use Thunderbolt, though. Stop lying. Day 103. Now they're up on the desk dancing. Still having a good time. Looks like they got a substitute teacher. There was nothing special about me, but when the time stopped, I felt very special about myself. And I became addicted to the feeling. I'm special. Day 115. Why did you not take me to the stopped time? Sorry, I didn't know you were asleep. 
The math teacher scolded me for sleeping. Sad face. Day 126. Can you take me there today? I'm feeling a little dizzy today. Uh-oh. Day 127. She's passed out. She fell down. She was taken to the hospital immediately. I went to see her after school, but she didn't wake up. Day 128. Are you all right? There's no answer from her. Day 131. She's still not back today. It got a little sad. Was the supernatural power putting too much pressure on her? Was I asking her too much? Day 132. I'm starting to worry that she might never come back. Day 159. Is her spirit traveling to another world, maybe? If anyone's could, it would be hers. Day 160. The memory with her started fading away. Did it really happen? Day 163. It's winter break now, but I'm not happy about it. Day 164. I think I'm the only friend still visiting her. Day 216. The break is over, but her seat is still empty. Day 270. A new semester is starting. I don't even see her seat anymore. Day 272. I saw her in my dream. Hey, it's been a while. How are you? I had a lot of questions to ask, but I just couldn't talk to her. Sorry, you can't talk, right? It's because you're dreaming. I came here because I had to tell you something. I think I'm being punished. The time was still passing even when I stopped it. People I had frozen lost as much of their own time as I had frozen for myself. I knew that shouldn't I knew I shouldn't be doing that. I was stealing it from them, but I couldn't help myself. I wanted to see the one that I liked up close all. At first, it was just good looking at him. But when he woke up, I was too happy that we could spend our time together just as. I loved it when everything stopped except for us. It's a love story. Oh. Or is it? Memories. So I kept stopping the time. I must have crossed the line. But I was happy. And she left with the memories that only the two of us shared. Day 273. She's probably on a journey to a new world that no one has ever been to. I know it because she's the supernatural girl. The end. So again, this is something you can imagine possibly reading a Marvel comic book or a DC comic book in the future on VV and the VVverse and virtual reality so that you're immersed into the actual environment and you can experience it in a fun new way. All right, everybody, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching and good luck this weekend with the Comic-Con drops. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.